Hello everybody, this is Wig Cap 101 and we're talking about lace front wigs today. But before I get started, go ahead and click the subscribe button below. You're also going to want to follow us on Instagram. It's cloud9 underscore wigs and join our private Facebook group, which is cloud9 wigs share and support group. But I think the handle is just cloud9 wigs. So anyway, the links will be below. So you're all good. All right. So let's get started. Now I'm going to show you a few variations of lace front wigs and explain to you what they're good for. I mean, overall, what you need to know is when you have a lace front on a wig, it enables you to wear your hair off your face. And also if your hair like blows in the wind and it kind of blows back, it's going to still, it's going to look like the hair is growing from your scalp. That is the main point of it. It is, it makes it look like the hair is actually coming from your scalp. Okay. So just keep that in mind. So for instance, I'm going to show you this one real quick. Um, this, this has an extended lace front, which I'll show you more detail. And again, it looks like it's coming from my scalp. Now granted things can, um, alter how realistic it looks or not. For instance, if the knots are really, really dark. Sometimes that can look a little fake and you might need to put a little powder on them or pluck some of them. Sometimes if the hairs are too much like lined up, like straight in order, um, that can look a little fake because nobody's hairline is completely straight. But let me just dive into some stuff and I'll show you what I mean by this whole like lace front thing. Okay, so I'll be right back and we're gonna start with a mini lace front. Okay, this is really uncommon, a mini lace front, but I'm gonna show it to you anyway. So this is on my night wig by Ellen Villa. See that tiny bit of lace? That's actually right where the hair separates in the front. So it's, again, it's tiny. I don't see it often, but I did wanna show you that it does exist. Okay, so that's what, if you're looking from the front and say this hair went back in the wind, you would see, see how it looks like it would be you know, you have your skin under there will be look like you're, it's growing from your scalp. Um, but it's just in that area. Okay. So the rest of it is normal, you know, all machine made. So, but that's fine. This style doesn't call for a full lace front. All right. I'm going to show you the next style and then I'm, I'll show them to you on so you can see. The next is, this is Scarlet by John Renault. And this is a temple to temple lace front. So you see right there, it's a pretty wide, it's like, I don't know, more than an inch probably. So temple to temple means like it's the lace is going from here to here about that. Um, again, it's going to make it look like this is, you know, the hair under here, uh, looks like it's growing from your scalp. So I'll show that on in a second. And then another one, which I would say like maybe is next level up is a lace front. Um, this is Monica wig by Aesthetica. Um, it's still temple to temple lace front, but then it goes into a mono part, which actually goes back pretty far to the crown. Um, and so not only will it look natural here, but it will look natural here. So that's Monica. And then last is kind of like, oh, last is on my head. <laughs> Let me show this to you. So this is um, by Beltress. This is Newport. And this has an extended lace front. So this goes like, see the ear tabs there? It's almost like mid ear tab to mid ear tab has the lace front, which is not as wide, this lace front, but that's okay. And then it goes to this wide uh, mono part, which does go really far back. So again, it's going to, it's actually going to look natural, really natural from here to here. Um, you can pull your hair like all back if you wanted to. Uh, and then it's got the mono part. So the scalp, the hairline, the part is going to look natural as well. So let me just show you all of these on so you can see what I mean. The mini lace front looks very natural right where the hair separates at the part.
So this is Scarlet by John Renault, and she has a temple to temple lace front that goes about an inch back. First thing I do when I put her on is kind of comb out those hairs so it looks more natural. And then I adjust the wig. So as you can see here, a temple to temple lace front really can make the front look very natural. You can even pull her off your face, maybe clip her back, and she looks very, very natural. And that's what a lace front can do for you. The third style I'm showing you is Monica by Aesthetica. So she has a temple to temple lace front with a mono part. So it's hand tied. Anytime you see lace front, it's hand tied. So you can see here, the temple to temple lace front and as I separate the hair the mono part so it looks very much like scalp and it looks very natural. Finally this is Newport by Belle Tress and she's got a full extended lace front and a mono part. Look how natural she looks when I pull her fully off my face. So a couple more tips. If you feel like your hairline doesn't look completely natural, even when you're wearing it, say like down like this, like for instance, I feel like this is a little bit, I don't know, it's not completely meshing in with my skin. So I might put a little bit of white powder, literally like pressed powder or use a brush and just like dab it there. So there's that that you can do um, to make it feel like it blends in with your skin color better. You also can pluck the hairline. So if you feel like, I think I mentioned earlier, if the hair is just like straight across, no one's hairline is like that, you can take a tweezer and pluck out some hairs just to make it a little bit uneven. I've even seen people cut their lace kind of like this so that it, the hairline is uneven. I would way to do anything like that, especially if you think you're going to return the wig, don't, do not touch it. <laughs> But um, if you're going to keep the wig, you really like the wig, but you just are not digging the hairline, you can do that to it. So I hope that's been helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions at all below, and I would love to help you.